Hello and welcome to this very special talk, chat, interview, whatever you want to call it. You know, at the Sydney Cricket Ground, we were seeing history being scripted when the Indian team was playing out there. And there was one man, I mean, we've celebrated him enough on sports today, but we really need to know with a hamstring tear to bat out against a hostile Australian pace attack for close to four hours, 260 balls between him and Ravi Ashwin. Now, if there is any anything called bravery and courage and determination and commitment and passion for his team, this man exemplified it at the Sydney Cricket Ground, scripting history for India, setting stage for Brisbane. And I'm delighted that he's actually on the mend and he's much better. So welcome, Hanuma Vihari. Thank you very much for speaking to me. First Thank things you. first, how are you? I'm getting better, getting there. Uh, it's been a week or so since I got injured. Now, I came to the NCA for rehab, so I should be okay. I should be fine soon. And first reaction at your team scripting history and doing what it has done? Brilliant, actually. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a great a great win. I'm uh, so happy to be part of this wonderful side. You know, the way we fought throughout the series and uh, uh, finish, it off, finish it, it off in Gaba, uh, it can't get better. Uh, to be beat, uh, beating Australia in their own fortress uh, says a lot about this team and I'm uh, so delighted about it. Yeah, and, and Hanuma, when, I mean, like all of us, and here I'm asking you a stupid fan question, uh, 330 runs on the last day, most of us thought, yes, there is every reason to believe we can draw the game, but 330 runs, fourth innings at the Gabba, did you think that we could win? As I mean, obviously, because you know much better about your yeah. team. Did you think we could win? Yeah, but the way the wicket was playing, I, I, I didn't think uh, there were uh, any demons on the wicket, and uh, the confidence of our batters, uh, especially starting with Gil, uh, Rohit, Rohit Bhai unfortunately got out, but uh, Puji showed uh, uh, so much bravery and courage, uh, taking hits on the body. And then again, later, uh, Ajinkya played a cameo. Then Rishabh came in. Rishabh uh, played his own way, uh, like always he does. So he he, may, he gave us the belief that we could win the game in the last couple of sessions. And uh, a special mention to Washi as well, playing his debut test match and playing that cameo at the end. So it shows the team character and uh, uh, obviously it was tough scoring 330 on day 5 but uh, that's why we are the Indian cricket team, isn't it? We can do anything uh, which we believe in. Love that statement. Love that statement. And you know, for me, Mohammad Siraj carrying that Indian flag after all that he has gone through and the rest of the team behind him, that is exactly what our India stands for. Love that picture post. Karan, love you all. Indian cricket can't get yeah. better. Now to you, Hanuma. 36 all out, everyone had written us off. How was this possible? Did you all, I mean, everybody was saying, oh, 4-0, team will be gone. After Adelaide, and please make me understand, as an analyst, as a fan, you were there. What did you all do, you personally and the team? How was it? How did this fairy tale happen? I think uh, it's easier, uh, you know, coming back disappointed and... Uh, having a meeting and having that all the emotions and you know blame it blaming it on someone or uh, something like that it only happens outside the team but inside the team we were united i mean at, at any stage uh, we never spoke about it we said uh, let's leave it uh, behind us it's it's a freak uh, innings you know everything we played we were edging it and it was going into hand so it 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 might not ha happen again uh, in the future it, it never happened before it might never happen again as well so that is the, that was the discussion uh, which we had in the meeting. So let's look at it as a three-match series from now on, and let's win the series. So that that was the discussion. Let's uh, forget about the first test. We have three games in hand. It's a three-match series for us. And now, if you look at it, we won it 2-0. So it uh, so that was uh, that was a positive thinking which we had in the dressing room, and we truly believed it. We we never doubted ourselves as as a batting unit as well. You know, we could we could see after that the fight which we showed in Melbourne, Sydney, and Gaba are the true testimony of our belief. Now to, to you, I know you will blush or you will do what, I don't know, but give me the details. The floor is yours. When that hamstring snapped, India could have lost that game. What was the talk like? Did you doubt yourself? How did you overcome pain? How bad was it? Because I'm told multiple painkillers were given to you. Constantly you were on painkillers. It was that bad. Just... Hanuma, please give us a sense because we've appreciated you, but we need to know more. Yeah, uh, so uh, when I went into bat, obviously, 
Pujara was batting well. Uh, so we had a quick single, and everybody saw that I snapped my hamstring. But uh, I knew immediately was uh, that I couldn't run uh, because uh, I felt the pain, and uh, I told the physio, "See, I, I don't think uh, it's a spasm or a, or a cramp which you get. I I, I could feel the hamstring." Uh, Uh, go. So uh, he said, "Okay, uh, I'll stretch you a little bit. I'll give you a tablet. See how it goes." So then I took a tablet. Then I played the first ball against Nepal, and I, I, I was in pain. I told uh, Pujara, "See, I don't think, uh, you know, I can uh, run or um, I can't. I don't feel I can bat as well." He said, "Just hang around. See how you feel in the next couple of balls." So I played that over out. I called the physio again. I said, uh, uh, "I don't think." Uh, you know i can run or uh, maybe bat i i didn't believe that i could do it so he said i'll tape it around see if it gets better so next over unfortunately P- pujara got out or uh, running the next couple of balls he got out so i, I had no choice i uh, no choice left because uh, next was ash coming in then uh, jereja was injured so i said to myself see uh, i had 20 minutes to tee i'll just bat it out till tee then we'll see what happens from there then i Then I did that. I went into the dressing room. Uh, they gave me an injection now uh, uh, for the pain uh, killer. Then uh, a few of the staff uh, they came in, support staff they came in. They said, you know, you are the team uh, of the belief they've showed in. Obviously, in the first two games, I didn't do anything big, but it was t- it was time for me to you know give it back to the team in mm-hmm. some sorts. And uh, then I I had a clear clarity in my mind. Even Ash helped me out. Uh, he said. Uh, Let's bat it out one hour, one hour at a time. Let's take it deep, as deep as possible, and we'll see where it goes. So, uh, pain was there still uh, when when I was batting. So the, I I won't say it wasn't there, but uh, my only uh, uh, goal was you know just bat six balls, then take a break for six balls because I, I told I see you, uh, I can't stretch it, stretch out for Nathan Lyon. You take care of Nathan Lyon, then I'll I'll try to face the fast bowlers. So I was batting six balls, and uh, you know uh, Ash. Uh, He, he was really composed, and he was able to see off uh, Netherlands six balls. And then we we took it one over at a time, and uh, uh, we made the uh, the impossible possible, I guess. And uh, that's how I battled through pain for four hours. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Two questions come from there, uh, Hanuma. One, uh, so the so just to get it right. So you had continuous pain right through, and it was severe pain. Am I right in saying that? Yeah. Uh, I did, uh, you know, whenever I was taking stri- uh, strike, uh, because I have to bend in my stance, so my hamstring was, uh, you know, it was, it wasn't taking. Uh, actually, I was, uh, you know, trembling a little bit with my right hamstring, uh, but I, I, I wasn't showing it in my face because I know if I show a little bit of pain, then uh, it gives some hope for the opposition, which I didn't want to do. I, w- I was uh, trying to be, you know, comfortable at the crease, but I, I knew from inside, you know. Even if I had to do for uh, half an hour more, I don't think I could have done it. At the end, I was really exhausted, and uh, I was. It was pure relief actually to, you know, see off the test match and uh, draw the test match. The racist insults. I mean, did all of this that was going on, racist barbs at Siraj and Ajinkya and whatever, did that galvanize the team, Hanuma? That whatever happens to us on the field, we will respond to all of this. Yeah, if you look at the, the incident which happened in Sydney, I uh, have to give a huge credit to. The way Ajinkya handled that situation at that point of time, because uh, uh, Empires gave us an option to Ajinkya actually uh, that uh, you can walk off the field if you want. But he said uh, we are not doing that because uh, we respect the game, but uh, uh, we want some action to be done at that point of time. So, so the leader is setting an example, uh, you know, on the ground how to you know uh, behave or how to how to play the game at the right spirit. And uh, that that is exactly what we did. All the banter which has happened, we we played at the right spirit of the game, and we we were always there, uh, coming hard at uh, hard at them, but with the bat or ball, not uh, not with anything else. And uh, that's the that's a new India, like they say. That's uh, that's our spirit. And uh, uh, like Ravi sir said, it's a uh, it's a Virat team. That's uh, that's how Virat uh, plays his game, and uh, uh, it's a testimony. This series is a testimony of our attitude and our culture. Hi everyone Preeti Chaudhary here hope you like this video for latest news and analysis like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated thank you for watching